Hello guys, uh, this is another unboxing. Um, I ordered uh, more orchids from Andy's Orchids. I Honestly, I don't have any plans to get new orchids. Oh, and by the way, Barden, um, my kids are downstairs, so you'll hear them uh, in the background. But uh, yeah, basically I ordered uh, uh, another uh, set of orchids from Andy's Orchids. Um, they did a uh, end of the year sale, 20% off, and I uh, checked the uh, orchids in my wish list and uh, the pricing is kind of irresistible so I decided to get a bunch um, I already took off some of the uh, foam off the uh, box and uh, so today is the 4th of January so I just received it earlier today and I just bought unbox it unboxing it right now so uh, yeah let's let's check them out I'll uh, pause the video and uh, we'll start with this one here all right so this one is packed very beautifully um i ordered i am pretty sure all i ordered are miniature ones and this is the mas mastivalia when landia land when landiana so i'm sorry if i murdered it but yeah let me go ahead and uh remove the uh, packaging okay. all right so it's well packed it came in really good i don't see any damages um, I guess uh, they've been doing this for a long time and they've perfected um, packaging or shipping orchids and uh, yeah there's some sphagnum moss this is a yeah I ordered two mass devalues and this is my first time taking care of, of having this orchids um, this one if you search it online has really nice flowers according to the website it's free flowering so hopefully it likes the conditions and you know give or bloom for me um, and here is another tag uh, so I like the fact that they put this tag here just like the other orchids that I ordered from them so if ever you lose this one at least you have another one, another way of uh, identifying the plant um, so you'll see their culture water MDW so they has got a uh, I'll show it um, the codes or the yeah the code for for the for that yeah so here so you can see here that tag key so you'll you'll will have an idea of how to water or how much light these guys need so light I think it's SHS uh, shaded but uh, yeah this is really nice nice looking plant on a uh, piece of wood and um, yeah very happy about this one so yeah, well, I'll, I'll get it uh, find it a spot in here um, in my uh, grow tent so let's go ahead for the next one okay um, yeah I'll just pause this because I don't want to break any plant all right so the next one is the Restrepia Dodsonii so I ordered two Restrepias here. Um, yeah, let me get all the packaging. I, I just want to see, show you guys how uh, they package the orchids, and uh, let me take this off. All right, so Restrepia Dodsonii. Um, really nice. Looks established on this piece of wood. Look at that moss. Uh, this is one of the things I love about ordering from Andy's Orchids is to get this kind of moss. Hopefully, I'm able to um, um, propagate the moss or hopefully they naturally spread out in here. Um, I'm trying to grow some in a, uh, in a uh, small container. But um, yeah, really nice. And again, they got this tag here uh, with, with, the, with the keys, uh, like the tag keys. So great way to uh, take note of how to wa how much to water them and how much light they need but uh, nice looking plant um, some odd looking leaves there but it's got new ones here so those could be old ones um, I don't think yeah those are old ones so yeah a bit uh, on the battered side but I, I mean it, it looks good it still looks good for me so yeah my first restrap yeah okay I'll put this here uh, okay and let's go for the next one all right so the next is the Stellis Hertzii this one 
here and let me just put this here it just is a miniature also and i think it's got flowers um let's see here yeah it's got flowers really cool but uh let's see Let's see if we can get a good look of the flowers. They're really small. There you go. So according to the website, it is also free flowering all throughout the year. Really small flowers when I research it online. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this one's already blooming. But uh, well established also. Um, look at that. Look at the moss. Algae or yeah, algae growing on the wood, so more likely this gets watered a lot. High humidity, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy about this miniature orchids. Yeah, it gives me enough room in my tent, but uh, yeah, that's the cell this side. My first cell is also so. Let's go ahead and try to yeah, let me grab another one. All right, so this one is the Restrepia falconbergii. Uh, yeah, there you go. Restrepia falconbergii. This is the only one that's in a pot that I've ordered. Uh, it's also a miniature, but let me let me uh, take it off the packaging. All right, so this is the Restrepia falconbergii. I don't have a tag. Which is fine because I can find that information online. Uh, not a big deal, uh, but I'll still put uh, a sticker on here with the uh, details. Because uh, if I lose, if ever I lose this uh, tag here, then um, there's another way for me to identify this plant, um, especially once my uh, collection gets bigger. But it's still moist. The plant looks good um, yeah some bad leaves here and there but uh, I think it's well established enough and uh, yeah this is my second Restrepia so yeah happy about this another miniature but in a pot there so I guess I guess I have two more all right so here is the uh, Neo Finesha Falcata, the Ona Misekai. Look at this, look at all those roots. And uh, the roots are even longer than the wood itself. But uh, yeah, let me unpack it first. Alright, so here is the, the Neo, sorry, Neo Finesha Falcata, Ona Misekai. It's found in Japan. Uh, they considered like a Vanda like um, orchid or maybe. Part of the Vanda family, um, which is a miniature, um, kind of uh, considered as like a sacred plant, also in uh, Japan. Um, it's been on my wish list for a while now, and uh, anyway, I was looking for a uh, Vanda orchid here in the U.S., but I think a lot of them are hybrids already. Um, they're also found uh, in the Philippines, and there is one that's considered as rare, even in the Philippines. And they're huge, they get huge. I got one and put it in one of our trees and just kept growing roots all over the place. But uh, it, obviously, to put it in here will take a lot of room, and uh, I was looking for a, a miniature one. And uh, according to my research, it's considered as one of those species or a part of that species or something. But this is a miniature, and I just found out it's kind of like a sacred also in Japan. Um, a really nice uh, look at all those roots, all that moss. It's it's well established. Um, also, uh, very is considered as fragrant. So, um, yeah, I really, I really like the way this plant looks. So, I'm glad it went on sale. So, Neo Finesha Falcata. All right, so let's go for the last orchid. All right, so the last one is the Master Mas, Mastivalia Nidifica, and here it is. I'm really digging the way these guys look or how they're pack, packaged but here let me take off the all right so here it is and uh mass the mass the valia nidifica as you can see well established plant again look at all that moss 
or algae on the wood um, leaves looks cool some hint of purple there um, really nice flowers if you guys can take a look online um, imagine all of these are considered as free flowering so imagine if they all of them decides to bloom at the same time all throughout the year then it would look good oh by the way I found uh, the tag for the restrict the Falcon Birdie eye now uh, just a disclaimer I'm no expert so I'm sorry if I pronounced the uh, scientific names wrong um, so I uh, asked for patience for that guys and then um, some information that I got online as we all know online it, it's not a hundred percent so um, so, some things uh, that I research about might be true or not but I try to share it. some some make sense so that's what I try to share um, but basically um, there's a lot of information online in terms of uh, I go to different online stores there's one store that I want to try eventually um, they have some orchids that uh, it's not available at and it's orchids but we'll see um, but uh, basically uh, so far I've seen um, and this orchids has the like the more comprehensive uh, more um, uh, like they provide more information on the care of the plants so uh, that's why I prefer to buy from them because they, they've got more details and and the selection is really nice I mean look at all of these uh, miniature ones um, the other thing I've noticed with this order is they all came with um, they, like they they are they have wire hooks but unlike the others where they have like long hooks uh, this one is just like like within the the wood so so that's cool um, in a way give uh, me also a way a better way I think of uh, hooking or placing them in my grow tent um, but yeah that's it um, really happy about this um, I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing more orchids in the future maybe I'm thinking around me uh, spring but uh, yeah they have good sales um, and when when they provide promotions they the, the prices go down really good and, uh, and and then they're reputable so yeah so please uh, put a like um, that would uh, definitely help and uh, yeah thank you for watching guys